Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Somebody called me and asked me, How can I exercise my faith? This is what I'm attempting to do today to show you how you can, you know, exercise your faith. Good morning. My name is Joseph Adenuga. I'm the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem, South Africa. I'm here again with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to encourage you, to motivate you, and to inspire you. Today I pray that the Almighty God will breathe His breath unto you and fill you with His Spirit and empower you to do things that you could not do before. Receive the spirit of wisdom and understanding. Receive the power to do great things for God and for yourself and for your family. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Today I just want to speak on how faith comes because somebody is, you know, some people are calling me and they are asking me these questions. You see, faith is very, very important in the Bible, as I've said in earlier, you know, episode of my daily broadcast. Hallelujah. Now, how do you, you know, exercise your faith? Faith is you know, comes according to Romans chapter 10 verse 17. It comes by hearing. Let's take for instance the woman with the issue of blood. He heard about Jesus in the book of Mark chapter 5 from verse 25. He heard about Jesus. That's what when faith starts, when you hear the word of God. Then he believed what he, what he heard. Then the next thing is that he spoke and said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. Then he acted on what he believed and he received his healing. So this is the sequence by which faith comes. Jesus said in the book of Mark chapter 11 from verse 22, he said, have the faith of God. That's verse 22. Verse 23, he says, if anyone shall say to this mountain, be removed, be cast into the sea, and shall believe in his heart and not doubt, he shall have whatsoever he says. Verse 23 now says, I mean verse 24 now says, Whatsoever thing you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Meaning, when you are praying by faith, when you pray, you must believe that those things that you pray for, you have already received it. If it is healing, you are going to believe that you are already healed. Even before the manifestation of what you are asking, you have to believe that you have received it. That is faith. Hallelujah. And this faith... Jesus said that if you believe in that Mark chapter 11 verse 23, he says, if you believe, you will speak. Hallelujah. He said, verily, verily, I say unto you, if any man shall speak unto this mountain. In, in another place, the Bible says, we believe, therefore we speak. He says, some people believe, they speak. We too, we believe, and therefore we speak. When you believe, you speak. Faith speaks. See, one of the manifestations of faith is that it speaks word. You know? Even though you are baptized with the Spirit and the Spirit of God is upon you, if you don't speak the word, God cannot work. You see, the Spirit of God is so important in our lives. But when the Spirit of God comes upon us and we don't speak forth the word, nothing the Spirit will build on. Let me show you in the book of Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1. The Bible says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. You see, when the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water in the midst of the darkness, nothing happened until words were spoken. The Bible says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. See, the Spirit of God was moving, but nothing was happening until the word came. You see, when the Spirit of God is upon you, you still need to speak words. Because if you don't speak words, the Spirit will have no material to work with. The Spirit works with the material of the words that were spoken. And that's why Jesus said in the book of John chapter 6 verse 63, He said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirits and they are life. You see, the word causes the Spirit to work life. If you don't speak word, faith is not complete. 
You say, I believe, but you are not speaking. The Bible says we believe, therefore we speak. You must speak for faith to begin. You must speak for faith to take effect. In the book of Mark chapter 5, when we look at the woman with the issue of blood, even with Jairus, Jairus came to Jesus and said, my, my daughter is you know, hopelessly healed and at the point of death. Please come and heal. Because he believed. Hallelujah. So when you believe, you are going to speak. Let me show you again how faith works. According to Romans chapter 10 verse 17, faith comes by hearing. So to, for faith to work, number one, you must hear the word of God. Number two, you believe the word of God that you have heard. Number three, you speak the word of God that you had. You speak the word of God to your situation. You no longer talk about your situation. You no longer say, I have a headache. You say in the name of Jesus, headache, go. You speak the word of God to your problem. You don't speak about your problem. You don't tell people what your problem is doing to you. You tell your problem what should happen to it. You speak the word of God to your problem. That is faith. Number four, you know surely that God had you when you speak to your problem. And you act on the word of God. That's number five. You act. You see, faith acts on what the word speaks. You act on what you have spoken without doubting. That's number six. You don't doubt. And number seven, you receive what you believed. You see, that's what the, issue, the woman with the issue of blood did. She heard about Jesus, that Jesus was healing people. Jesus was, you know, forgiving people's sin. He even raised the dead. Even somebody who was dead for four days was healed by Jesus and, you know, raised again from the dead. She had all those, you know, good news about Jesus. So the next thing was that she believed. Because she believed, she now spoke. Because when you believe, you will speak. Because she believed, she now spoke in her heart. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. And because she spoke that word, she put it into action. She went and looked for Jesus. When she saw Jesus, he was crowded by a multitude of people. She acted by pressing her way till she got to Jesus. That's action. And she put that faith into action by touching the hem of Jesus' garment. And because she believed, she didn't doubt. You know, she received her healing. And Jesus felt that power has gone out of him. So when you, when faith, when you hear the word of God, faith is going to rise up in you. And when the faith rises up in you, you speak the word and you begin to act. You are going to turn the power of heaven on in your life. You are going to put on this switch. Speaking the word and acting on the word, you know, switches on the power of God in your life. When you believe and you speak and you act, the power of God begins to work in your life. This is how faith works. Faith works by speaking, not about your problem, but to your problem. You speak the word of God to your problem. You don't tell people what your problem is doing to you. You tell people what the word of God is doing to your problem. That is faith. And you put up that action. You begin to act according to, your, to the word of God. The word of God says you are healed. Get up and go and take your bath and behave like somebody who is healthy. Because you believe. Hallelujah. That is the way faith works. I believe this has blessed you. Thank you so much for listening. May the Lord bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus. If there is any sickness in your body, I command healing to flow to that body of yours now. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is done. Kindly rebroadcast this. Get somebody blessed. And, you know, if this is rebroadcasted to you, you want me to send this to you every day, just save my number, plus two three, I mean, plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. Thank you so much. Just save that number. I believe the Lord will bless you. If you WhatsApp me and say, register me, I will begin to send this to you every day. Hallelujah. Consider, consider being our partner if you want to be just WhatsApp me or call that number. I'll tell you how you can be. And the Lord will bless you for doing that. So, thank you so much. It is well with your soul. This is, once again, this is Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Prevailing Church. Signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.